there was a good number of years there where it was almost impossible to find a good tiny MPPT solar charge controller. Well, that era is long gone. I've been getting a little bit tired of doing battery reviews. However, Battery of Power mentioned they make MPPT charge controllers, or at least they have their own branded version. And I was like, okay, send it over. And they sent a 100 amp hour battery along with it. How nice. So I've been tinkering with this for a little while and I'm actually quite pleased. I'm actually really pleased. Very low power usage. I think this is only like 30 or $40 as well. It's not bad at all. Whenever the light is on, it takes 25 milliamps. Whenever it snoozes and the illumination goes down, it only takes 18 milliamps, which is a really good low power draw. So pretty much you only need to have a, a solar panel this big just to keep it going. And then everything else on your panel is basically serving whatever you're powering. The LCD display, the output of the current is rounded up to the nearest 0.1 of an amp. So keep that in mind, it's a bit optimistic. And then whenever I ran it off of this 30 watt panel, it was taking in 1.4 amps and it was putting out 1.8 amps. So it was probably taking in around 16 or 17 volts and then it was putting out 13 volts at 0.8 of an amp. So that's a, that's a pretty good step up. You've gained some efficiency from that. That's definitely working as an MPPT charge controller. And then the other thing I noticed was that it has a slow current ramp up. So whenever it starts, it doesn't just start shooting power into the battery instantly, it slowly ramps it up. And I really, I really like that. I would like to get this connected up to the solar panel. I might remove this connector and hook it onto these connectors, which they nicely give with this. And since we're gonna be soldering a bit, why don't we take this apart and see what's inside of here. I'm glad the companies have been sending me so many 100, 100 amp hour batteries because I've been able to give them or sell them to locals that want to get into tinkering. And uh, they really, it's become like the, the, the core of what their solar panel experiments crystallize around. And it's really nice to see that whenever I can help somebody start their tinkering. I started peeling off the back and there was no screws, but I see in the front, there are screws. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that back in the sun and slowly peel it off. Bluetooth. Wait. Huh. This is Bluetooth. I had no idea. That's like a USB 8266 on there. Oh, it's all potted in there. Well, that's really good. That's actually really, really good. So it'll be pretty reliable. Okay, well, I guess, I guess that's basically it. Let's see what kind of data we can get from this. I'll let that sit in the sun for a bit. Then I'll, I'll put a pillow on top of it and sit on it. And that'll push that down really evenly. All right, we are all done. I decided to cut this wire back so it's easier to hide in the windowsill. The other one was too thick. Oof, that sun is hot. I may have to turn on the air conditioner before long. So we have the battery of power hooked up. And 13.2 volts. It's so little power draw that this doesn't really even detect it. Uh 
There's that slow ramp up. Okay, now let's try the app. Oh. There we go. Oh, very nice. Oh, wow, it's actually saved several days worth. Huh. So it saves on board. I love that. You can see that I've actually been messing with it for the past few days. I don't have that solar panel angled correctly for this type of uh, this time of year, so I'm not surprised that it's only getting 24 watts. That, that that's fine. That is so cool. So it's been about an hour charged with 27 watt hours. Not too bad. That means there's no errors. Lithium iron phosphate. Okay. Pretty soon the shade will overtake the solar panel, but that I'm, I really enjoy how minimal this is. It's good for a small setup. It's the night time and this is how it looks whenever it's sleeping. Only pulling a token amount of electricity. It's down to that 18 milliamps again. Well, guys, I just got back. It's the, it's the next day. And I ran out and did a bunch of yard work for a friend and got paid pretty well. It's a bit of a cloudy day today, but despite that, we've still made 53 watt hours by one o'clock. Not too bad. This battery is getting a little bit full, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna run my computer off of it today. Now today is Sunday, so, what? oh, this thing, every time we close the app, the Bluetooth, you need to disconnect it. Otherwise, the Bluetooth actually complains to the app that it disconnected. So we've done 50 watt hours today, which is great for a little tiny power system, because I would like for this to eventually run our little 12 volt fans, maybe run the air conditioner, maybe I can make a circuit that can have like a uh, grid tie inverter or something like that. But today's Sunday and I'm gonna stop it there and I'm gonna upload this because I plan to use this whenever I redesign this entire solar panel setup and remove this down, maybe make it so I can tilt it, add maybe another panel and maybe add a panel on top of the air conditioner. Maybe build this out of 80-20 instead of wood because this has been here for two years now and that's, I don't trust it any longer. But uh, that might take a while for me to build that apartment uh, window solar setup Let's, uh, the sun was out. Oh, the sun's coming out a little bit. I just wanted to see. Nice. So we're getting about 12 watts now. Oh, it, uh -huh. aha. <laughs>
I'll just close that. So I'm gonna end it there and this will be it for the quick little look at this. And then maybe eventually, maybe in a few months, I can get the big video done, which we'll also use this yet again. But I figured it'd be nice to at least acknowledge that they sent me this because this, uh, it's pretty nice. And thank you very much for sending this. It was like a nice quality unit. And I would definitely pay 30 or 40 bucks for that or whatever the price is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya.